Shabaka is the ancient Azerbaijani handicraft art dating back to the Middle Ages, which is preserved in the monuments of architecture up to now and widely used in modern city building and interior design as well. The basis of the artistic form of Shabaka is the sunlight penetrating through the colored glass and the net of contours of the geometrical figures. Noon is rightfully considered to be the peak of its artistic impression, when the delicate ornament of Shebeka is iridescent in the rays of the sun in its zenith. The art of Shebeka represents a complex of different kinds of activity, knowledge and skills, among which are mythology, philosophy, heraldry, ethnography, ornament, geometry, drawing, coloristics, carving, design and architecture. The definite Shebeka compositions are related to the principles of making ornaments in carpet weaving, embroidery, stone and metal processing, as well as the making of jewelry. That is why Shebeka can favor the dialogue between different handicrafts and kinds of decorative and applied art. Shibiki. Shebeka is a decorative plane assembled from lots of small wooden elements and colored glasses fastened between them without any nail or glue. The main idea is a symbolic transmission of the solar energy, life, perpetual flow of time of the infinite universe. The principal motives of Shebeka composition are multi-radial stars of the right geometrical form. The main center of Shabaka that was and remains to be is the city of Sheki, where this tradition is represented in the most classical style. The masterpieces of this kind of art, dating back to the 18th-19th centuries, are concentrated here, and it is from here that the tradition of Shabaka got the second wind, after its restoration in the middle of the 20th century. In the middle of the 20th century, namely in the 60s, the restoration of the Palace of Sharks of Sheki began in Sheki, under the guidance of Professor Niazir Zaev. It was not an easy task, because at that time there were practically no masters dealing with the art of Shebeka and the recipes of dyestuffs of plant origin had to be restored as well. Much work had to be done. It was in the restoration center that we organized the courses. Seven skilled masters took part in it, but not all of them passed the examination. To be more exact, the exam was passed only by Ashraf Rasulov, Master of Applied Art from the city of Shiki. It took seven years to do this difficult restoration. I learned Shabaka from my father. Ustar Ashraf was my father's name and he was a well-known master of Shabaka art. Now, my son learned Shebeka from me. 
We hand it down from one generation to another, for this ancient craft not to be vanished. First, the master makes standard elements of various forms from the hard species of trees, a box tree, nut tree, beech, and an oak tree. Then, he assembles the patterns according to the prepared design. The desired form of Shebeka is obtained only by passing the small wooden elements with a lug and cavity called alats through each other, between which the small fragments of the colored glass are being fixed. The main secret of the art of Shebeka lies in this decorative method of cutting and passing through. The word Shebeka means a net or a grating. When assembling such a grating, the master mustn't make the slightest slip. The net of Shebeka ornament is a very stiff and at the same time fragile structure. The skilled craftsmen of the 17th-19th centuries used in their compositions the color glass only one millimeter thick. In the field of restoration of the cultural heritage, equally with the palace of Sheki Shahs, the great event in 2001 was also the restoration of window shabaka in Juma and Ambaris mosques in the city of Ordubad, made by Master Jabir Jabarov. In Ordubad, the art of shabaka was already known in the 12th century. Up to now, one can observe various kinds of this art in the old mosques and houses. To preserve and keep these ancient and original works of art made by the old masters, I began to restore the burial vaults. The striking example is the works by the old master Ajimi Nakchivani, which I restored rather successfully. And if he used to work with a stone shabaka, I added some wooden shabaka to his works. The role of Shabaka as symbolics became apparent in the 20th century, at the stage of the formation of the national state in Azerbaijan. The most widespread and favorite composition of the masters of Shabaka was always the eight-pointed radial star. Today, it took the status of the main heraldic symbol, the eight-pointed star is the state emblem of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Equally with the state heraldic significance, the art of Shebeka identifies the belonging to Azerbaijani cultural tradition as well as the source of aesthetic delight. Therefore, the art of the masters of Shebeka is still in demand. It is worth noting that nowadays, they enlist the services of the masters of Shebeka to design the interior and exterior of public buildings connected with the history of the statehood of Azerbaijan as well as identification of Azerbaijani citizenship. <laughs> to carry on the tradition of Shebeka, we created a society. There are 15 apprentices in our society, and many of them help me make Shebeka. If at least one or two from these 15 apprentices make good masters, it will be a great thing. Shebeka is a complicated craft, and not everyone can be the master of this craft. I have a lot of apprentices who carry on this complicated, painstaking, but rather interesting work. Many of them are former carpenters that showed interest in this art. My apprentices helped me restore the old window shabaka in the mosques of our ancient city, or Dubat. Sometimes Shebeka is compared with European stained glass window, but they have absolutely different figurative language and technology of making. The symbolics of Shebeka give social experience, favoring in a way the succession of generations. The patterns of Shebeka convey the traditional picture of the world, around which the formation of Azerbaijani ethnic culture had been taking place in the epoch of the Middle Ages. The unique method of combining used in this art enables to convey the sacred for the whole mankind symbols of life with the help of simple geometrical forms. Both 
the tree of life and sunny cross. It's the symbol of life, done in male and female origins. It is in Shebeka that the tree of life is depicted in the form of a stretched, twelve-cornered figure, which is not found in any other kind of art in any other country of the world.